Yeah, right there. Love that little sun flare. Now I gotta look at the camera and do it. Sun flare, somewhere over here. <laughs> What's up guys? I'm John the Potter and welcome back to another pottery video. Today we're gonna get some clay. So one of the most common questions that I get from people is where do you get your clay? What kind of clay do you use? And it kind of perplexes me why I get that question so often because I just I go to a clay store and I buy clay like most people buy most things. But nonetheless we got to go pick up 500 pounds of clay today so I thought I might as well bring it with me. Let's do it. Ryder, eat. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I guess I need lunch too, don't I? All right, what do you think? Should we go get some clay? Do you think we should go get some clay? It's always an adventure to go down to Minneapolis and get 500 pounds. That's an avocado, you should eat that. Uh, Let's go get some clay. Uh, yeah, you're about ready for a nap. Uh, you want, what did you want to say to them? Uh, you say hi? Uh, Strap in. Can't hide that camera from you, huh? All right, John and Ryder's adventure to Minneapolis. We are headed down to Minneapolis to get some clay, because we're just about out. So I get all my clay at Continental Clay in Minneapolis. Why do I get it there? Well, there's only really two places in Minneapolis that you could get clay. One of them is Minnesota Clay, and one of them is Continental Clay. And I just like Continental Clay better. I've been using their clay. Hey, it takes about 45 minutes to get there. I buy my clay. Seat belts are important. I buy my clay. 2,000 pounds at a time, but you can pay for it because the more that you get, the lower the price is per box. So I buy 2,000 pounds at a time, but then I only pick it up 500 pounds at a time because 2,000 pounds is like ridiculous amount. 500 pounds is a lot too, but I'll probably go through uh, about 500 pounds of clay in the next like month getting ready for uh, the Art Wander, which is a big art crawl around Laconia and uh, Carver County. So if you're uh, if you're from around Minnesota, come check out Carver County. Come check out the uh, Art Wander. It's pretty sweet. Artwander.com. I'll link it or something in the description. So the type of clay that I use, that's another question that I get a lot. So I use stoneware clay and that's mostly just because that's kind of what I started working with in college. I have tried other clays like porcelain and like white stoneware, but I get the buff stoneware from Continental Clay. So buff stoneware from Continental Clay. That's the type of clay that I use. So we'll see if I have the guts to go in there and like film inside. I have no idea if I'm going to that. To Continental Clay, and Ryder is sleeping. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to wake him up. Let's go get some clay. Oh, are you up, buddy? You up? Uh, hey, did you have a good nap? Um. That mean face for. <laughs> there it is, Continental Clay. Cool. Art wonder. Oh, you 
I paid for it already. It should be in there under Schmidt. I think I paid for two thousand, and then I have fifteen hundred left. Yes. All right, you got the bottom. Do you want to pick up five hundred? Yes. All right. All right, now we gotta go load up 500 pounds of clay into the car. Not quite bold enough yet to uh, just stick the camera in random people's faces and say I'm vlogging, but I'll get there someday maybe. All right, let's do it. The adventure continues. Right, buddy? Whew, my arm's getting sore. Oh, they got my clay ready for me right there. Got 500 pounds of clay. Let's make the trek back home. These tires ride a little low when there's 500 pounds back there. Ready to make the trek home? Yeah. Good thing I only have to do this like once every eight weeks, maybe? A few times a year. Because it is not my favorite thing to drive downtown. I hate traffic so much. Is there anything worse than being stuck in traffic? No, the answer is traffic is the worst thing in the world. <coughs> Ryder's been crying for like the last half an hour. I'm sorry, Ryder. Well, we made it back from Minneapolis. That last half hour with Ryder was a bit tricky, to say the least. But, so now we got all the clay unloaded now it's upstairs at Moke Monkey. Now we gotta bring it all downstairs at Moke Monkey. So, uh, vlogging through this whole thing is kind of making me realize what a big process this whole going to Minneapolis to get 500 pounds of clay actually is. Cause we're going on probably three, four hours of working on this. But I won't have to do it for a while. And I need clay to make pots, so. That is it. 500 pounds of clay. What time is it, I wonder? That had taken us at least like three, four hours from when we left to go get the clay and then to drive back to get it all unloaded, get it out of the boxes, but here it all is. 500 pounds, can you see all that? 500 pounds, ready for some major throwing sessions. Anyway, comment below if you have any questions about the clay. But as always, hit that subscribe button, comment below, like this video, hit the bell button to be notified. I think that's it. We'll see you in the next video.